What do you think the UFO phenomenon is? Well, brother, the things I've seen, um, I didn't come here today to talk about what I think. You know. What do you I mean? I mean, I'd seen these things come out of the sky and just, I mean, I saw hundreds of people just evaporate in the blink of an eye. Entire towns with generations of history, culture, just disappear. We were assigned to a classified project down in South America. We were staying in some little town in Paraguay, and boy, things got pretty horrific. I mean, it's honestly a miracle. We'd made it out. So we were, you know, enjoying our time. I mean, we'd patrol and monitor our parameters, but, you know, things seemed pretty quiet. And so, I mean, we'd enjoy the nightlife. We were going out to eat, talking with some of the locals in the bars, things like that. Wait, so how'd you know to go down there specifically? Yeah, so, um, you know, we'd been getting these really unordinary impulse signals. Jesus. Just, you know, things that made absolutely no sense coming from this area of South America. So we'd kind of been on a, on a silent infiltration operation just to try and sniff out what was going on. And so one night, um, you know, we were just out on the town in some little club restaurant just trying to enjoy ourselves while we were down there, waiting for one of these signals to pop back up, you know. And, uh, you know, I didn't speak Spanish, but the other agent they'd sent me in with was bilingual. He'd do whatever translating we'd need. But so this particular night, things had gotten a bit uh, strange. There was this local, and he um, just wouldn't stop looking at us. Uh, I mean, this guy looked disturbed, and he couldn't take his eyes up off us. And so, you know, we were just um, eating our fly-ridden food. The bugs in this place were unreal, but trying to enjoy the music and just keeping our eye a bit on this local. And I say to my partner, you know, I'm going, Marshall, you see this guy over there? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I see him. I say, I'll be right back. So I go on and step outside for a cigarette, create a little diversion. And by the time I'd went back on in, Oh, he was antsy. We're sitting there. And then he, for some reason, can't seem to stand the sight of us for another second. And he's hovering over our table. And he's going, Se quien eres? Se quien eres? Se para que estás aquí? You know. I'm going, Marshall, what's he saying? What's he saying? Marshall says back to him, simultaneously translating for me. Jesus, man. Yeah. And he goes, what do you mean you know us? What do you mean you know why we're here? Who are you? Quien eres? Then... Um, the man just starts going, he says, El Diablo, El Diablo, El Diablo. Llevo a mi familia. And he's crying. He's going, Dios mío, la familia. Hey, Dios mío. At this point, I thought, you know, this guy's a friggin' whack job. You know, Marshall's saying to him, Amigo, que viste? Que viste? And um, guy was just a broken record, you know. El Diablo, Dios mío, El Diablo. We kind of just sit in this tense moment for a few, you know, like trying to salvage some kind of an understanding between our mission and this random guy in the middle of a bar in Paraguay reciting something out of a Bible, you know, desperately trying to believe this could have some type of relevance. Then the guy goes, ellos vienen, Dios mío, ellos vienen de nuevo. Marshall's going, come on, who took your family? Who's coming back, you son of a bitch? What are you talking about? Guy goes, vete mientras puedas. Nadie me cree, el diablo. In that chilling moment of tension, is in the blink of an eye just cosmically shifted by an incredible flash of light and rift of energy. It felt like your insides were set on fire, physically. And I'd never seen people break out into a manic chaos so fast. You heard this ringing. Don't know if the sound barrier was broken. And then I remember Marshall just yelling at me, go, 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 move your ass, we gotta move. He's gonna go out the goddamn back, transportation's on its way, go, go, go. And I'll never forget, as I was hauling ass out of there, I took one look back, and that wide-eyed man was standing in that same spot, just el diablo, Dios mío, el diablo. And uh, so we get out back, choppers on the ground, and we jump in, and that's when we saw them. I'm going, Mary, Jesus, and Joseph, what in God's name are we looking at? I mean, I couldn't tell you how many of these flat, pan-like, spherical floating aircrafts. And boy, we were lucky to be in the air, because everything on the ground turned to dust. And um, I just remember looking at Marshall's facial expression, and he just, you know, looked like he'd seen a ghost there. And, um, you know, and I go, Marshall, Marshall. I'm saying, Marshall, what in God's name were those things? 
and I'll never forget, he's just looking ahead as if the spirit of that poor man had passed through him in that moment. I mean, he's just looking with that, that similar wide-eyed blank expression. He goes, el diablo, Dios mío, el diablo. <laughs> 